Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be covering a very important topic that is a sequence. A sequence is a database object which multiple users may use to generate unique integers. You may use sequences to automatically generate primary keys. We have seen table employee. It has columns such as employee ID, employee name, that is the last name, first, first name, last name, uh, phone number and other informations. So let's say if a new record is entered into the database, we want the employee ID to be generated on its own. For that, we require a sequence. Similarly, say we have a custom table that stores invoices information and we want the invoice IDs to be generated on its own, they will be using a sequence. A sequence can also be used in integrations. So for a payload uh, which requires a number on an ID, we can use the custom sequences to cater for them. So this is basically what a sequence is and how it is used. Uh, now we'll see uh, different clauses which are used with the sequence and then we'll go to the basic syntax of sequence and the syntax with the following clauses which we'll be discussing now and then we'll see how we'll access the sequence so uh, without wasting any time let's start so the basic syntax of sequences create keyword sequence and your sequence name whatever one whatever name you want to give to your sequence as i have said there are different clauses which are used with sequence we'll be seeing each of them so uh, let's see them the first one is the increment clause then we have start with we have maximum value we have min value, uh, we have no max value, we have no min value, we have cycle, we have no cycle. Then we have catch, we have no catch, we have order and no order. So increment is actually increment by, so increment, so say if you want a sequence to generate integers with a gap of 2 that is with the increment of 2 say the first integer is 1 and we want the next integer to be 3 so we use increment by we use start with to specify the starting number of a sequence similarly we use max value to specify the maximum value we use the min value to specify the minimum value and if we don't want to specify any maximum value, we can use no max value. And similarly, we can use no main value for no minimum value. And say if we have specified the uh, sequence range to be from 1 to 100. And once that all numbers are exhausted. And if we want the cycle to start again, we'll be use cycle or else we'll use no cycle. Then we have something called catch. Catch specifies how many values of the sequence the database pre allocates and keeps in man memory for faster access. Uh, the integer value can have 28 or fewer digits, so it's huge. And if we don't specify the catch, the minimum value, like if we don't specify the catch with an integer the, and only specify catch, then the minimum value for that parameter would be defaulted as 2 and if we don't want any pre allocations we can specify no catch and if both catch and no catch are used means uh, either of them are not specified then the database creates a catch internally uh, and it's generate 20 sequence numbers by default and then if we uh, want to ensure that the sequences generated by or the integers generated by a sequence uh, should be in order then we need to specify 
it by using an order clause and if we don't want it to be an order we can specify it by using a no order clause so by now we have seen what are sequences and where we can use them we also have seen a basic syntax for sequence uh, we have briefly discussed the different clauses that can be used with the sequence and now we'll move forward to creating a sequence using these clauses so now uh, we'll be creating a sequence that would that will start with one and will increment by three and should have the maximum value as triple nine and the minimum value as one because uh, the minimum value should be equal to the start value it cannot be greater than the start value so uh, let's see I'll create a sequence I'm giving it a name as Kasik sequence uh, then I'll give start with one then I give increment by three min value as one and max value as triple line let's see and try creating the sequence so uh, we see that the sequence is created if you want to check the uh, current value of this sequence you can use it or you can check it by using curl well. so i'll show you how we'll be using our uh, favorite dummy table that is 12 to do that select uh, our sequence name dot curl well from dual oh sorry i have not given dot i have given comma i'll correct that and rerun it again We're using the wrong spelling for the curl well it's cu double r and let's check it okay uh, so we are having an error uh, that says that curl val is not yet defective so before seeing the or accessing the curl value we have to see the next value for that uh, so we'll do that uh, we'll just copy it So actually accessing the uh, integers or the accessing the value from the sequence it should be first initiated or created as the sequence has not been used by now uh, so uh, we are not able to see the number uh, for that the workaround is just run the next valve first so that uh, we can check the current value from there there on okay so next while and we'll run this so as we have specified to start it with three and it should increment by uh, sorry start it with one so we have that now we'll see uh, this is the current value and now we'll run it and see what is the next value the next value should be four now similarly the next value should be seven we run it again and see yeah so now if we check the current value it should show show, it, show us as seven so this is a way how we create the sequence the use of the sequence into while cre while creating the table as well as inserting a record into the table in our upcoming video so stay tuned and once those videos would be ready i'll share the link into the description so that you can check that out so by now we have created a sequence using start increment uh, increment by min val max val similarly let's now try it with I will specify the cycle now we'll be using a cycle and uh, try to create a sequence i have given the sequence name now as cus sequence one i'll i'll leave it to be starting with one we'll now increment it by one not two and we'll go to the maximum value of 10 and with the cycle so once all the numbers are exhausted uh, the sequence should start again because we have specified cycle here. Let's see what happens. 
Okay, yeah. So now it says the uh, number to catch must be less than one cycle. We have already seen if no catch is specified, 20 sequences are reserved. Uh, so we'll include catch here also and we'll reserve the sequence to be till uh, 2. So that uh, we can see the cycle example. I'll give as uh, okay. So I'll give catch two, and let's try creating the sequence. So yeah, now our cust sequence uh, cust sequence is created. Uh, let's try and see what we get for the first value of the sequence. Now we'll see the current value. Now we'll try run executing this sequence till 10 and see what happens after that. So I've been continuously running the statements and the values have been increasing incrementally by one. So uh, we are about to reach the maximum value for the sequence and the maximum value is 10. So as per as what we have understood by now, by, spe by specifying the cycle, the sequence should again start from 1. Let's see whether that happens or not. Yeah, that happens. Now, uh, we'll give no cycle and try to create another sequence, sequence 2, and try using all the uh, sequences till 10, and then uh, or I'll reduce the maximum value now, I'll reduce it to 5. And let's see what happens when we uh, cross the sequence upper limit. Okay, so sequence two is created as you can see on the screen. Now we'll access the values. Similarly, we'll go to next two, three, four. Now we should give, get an error as we have specified the sequence to have no cycle. And yeah, see, we get the error that the sequence cust underscore sequence two dot next value exceeds maximum value and cannot be instanti instantiated. So uh, we have seen uh, how to create a simple sequence and how to create a sequence by using clauses such as increment, start, maximum, no, uh, maximum, uh, minimum, and using cycle and no cycle as well as using catch. So I hope that is clear. I'll again brief. Uh, we use sequence to generate integers. Uh, those integers can be used by a uh, or those sequences can be used to generate primary key values and these sequences i would i have not told at that time i just want to add that if two users are using the same sequence uh, you will notice and we'll be seeing that in our upcoming videos that there would be a gap between the integers value accessed by them uh, th that is because of the catch so in a session say a particular uh, uh, number of integers are actually uh, stored or pre-allocated to be used by one user and similarly by the other user so there, there we would be getting a gap and uh, sequences are independent of tables so a single sequence can be used by multiple tables so we have seen the basic syntax uh, then we have seen how the syntax can be clubbed with the clauses such as increment by start maximum minimum and others I hope uh, you would have found this video to be useful and now you would be able to create sequences and if you don't have a database and a practicing uh, uh, software so I'll request you to go through the detailed video which we have made to install Oracle database and SQL developer into the system I am using SQL developer and the Oracle database uh, so I so if you would have that on your system it will be easier for you to follow what I am saying keep supporting subscribers thank you